So rise together circles are a combination of an accountability group, an accountability buddy, mastermind groups. People have labeled them a lot of things. What I've noticed that people take away from the rise above or rise together circles is that they're building kind of a virtual board of directors. As solopreneurs, often we don't have people to just bounce ideas off of. And so by building this community of five other entrepreneurs who are ready to grow and to achieve and to support each other, it's almost like doubling, tripling the effects that you can have within your own business. Um, I asked a few people what their experience with the Rise Together Circles was, and um, I wanted to share some of those with you. Here you go. I love this group for a number of reasons. First of all, the fact that we can just bounce ideas off of each other and you can get a variety of perspectives because I never want one person's perspective. I always want a few and then I want to pick out of it what intuitively feels like the right choice for me or to do a little more research based on uh, the quality information that I get when I'm in the group with you guys. And sometimes it's just a nice boost to see that you have ideas that you can help someone else because anytime you come up with something creative, it helps your creativity. So when somebody comes and they have a challenge, and you come up with something and you feel like it was valid, that's really great. On the flip side of that, I feel like when you're kind of in a low energy place or you're feeling like maybe you'll go get a job for minimum wage at Panera, <laughs> that you can say that stuff. You can come up, you know, show up and be a little cranky and everybody be like, yeah, but you know, you can do this and you should do that. And here are some things you can try. And, uh, you know, there is no judgment and people, people accept the way you show up. And sometimes you show up and you're like, yeah, I had 20 wins since I saw you last. And no one thinks you're bragging, but you can also say, I stink at what I do. Why am I doing this? And everyone's going to go, okay, put your big girl panties on and, and we're going to get through it. So. My takeaway from this group is first of all, the emotional support, you know, and as you all recall, for me, we started and then I had to stop, you know, because of circumstances. But knowing even while I was going through all of that recovery that you guys were still meeting and that I was part of the group, I really felt, you know, like a part of something it was really wonderful. And another takeaway is, even though I feel like because it is an accountability group, I don't ever feel, of course, none of us do, judged or, well, you didn't do that or whatever. I feel more supported, you know, and coached and uplifted. I like the small group. I, it's less intimidating than being in this big mishmash of hundreds of people in a Facebook group. But it's yeah. not like, I don't really like the one-on-one -on -one as much, honestly. Right, it's right. more pressure. You're not hearing everybody. I like when the when the topic gets off of me for a bit and I learn from other people. Yeah. So like they're getting that too. Like I almost think it's more valuable than a one-on-one -on -one because yeah. you get the, you get the support from four other people that are kind of like have similar goals than you. It started from the very beginning, right? This is like a vibe that we created the five of us and what everybody right. give and what everybody takes away very lonely when you're trying to build a business and figure it out and aside from the whole component of the whole group and structure and learning which was great that accountability I mean even now it's something I I, I sometimes miss because it you're, you're a solopreneur you know like if you're not getting out and networking that accountability piece is really really important so um, I, I I just loved that part it is also such an amazing thing to be able to talk openly with a group of people who are friends and professionals. You can talk about how much money you want to make. You can talk about, you know, like, oh, this didn't happen and I was disappointed. I'm afraid, you know, of this. We can be vulnerable and honest and open and we know that we are going to be really held up, you know, and supported and um, guided and encouraged. So. I just feel like, you know, too bad we didn't find each other 10 years ago. <laughs> but 10 years from now, can you imagine? So 
Yeah. So there you have it. That's what people are saying about the Rise Together accountability circles. I think the main takeaway is that when you speak your goals out loud to a container of support, you're going to be held accountable, but in a very gentle way so that you will move forward. You know, I believe that every heart-centered entrepreneur has a gift to offer. I believe that if you're seen, you can change the world. And I've made it my mission to help heart-centered entrepreneurs find systems and support that will help you shine your light and attract the people that you're meant to serve. I'd love to hop on a call with you and see it, what your thoughts are. How can this kind of support help you reach the people that you're meant to serve? Hop on my calendar, send me an email, and let's have a discussion. I look forward to speaking with you soon.